All right, so I'm kayaking. I'll give you a little review on my Old Town kayak. Looks like it's called Hero Next. Heron 9XT. Who fucking cares? I don't know. It's about nine and a half feet, I believe. There's lots of ample space inside there for your cockpit. Even has an area in the back where you can put gear. It's a nice little uh, kayak. It's pretty smooth. The paddle I'm using is an H2O performance paddle, which you can adjust the degrees of your paddle. And I'm just gonna close up the dry sack. There's actually quite a bit of ample room in there. It's not a sealed compartment. That's why you gotta have a dry bag for your valuables and stuff. It's got like a little locking piece. The hardest thing you're gonna find about kayaking is getting in and out. Especially on this dock where the cement pads are full of slime, so it's like ice. So almost bifter coming out. That would have been gross because the water's pretty not that clean here. But otherwise, once you get into a kayak, to maneuver it around is extremely easy. You don't paddle it like a canoe, you kind of row with your arms. And I'll get out there and I'll show you. Alright, so a little bit about this kayak. It's nine and a half feet, like I said earlier. This is not a whitewater kayak. I wouldn't recommend it for rapids, even though you probably could. This isn't an ocean kayak either. An ocean kayak, you want something a little bit longer. This is a perfect kayak for lakes and creeks and small rivers and stuff that I'm on right now. Because every kayak has its purpose. This is kind of like a mediocre one. This isn't a, like a top end brand either. This is kind of like a medium starter brand kayak, but it gets you into the sport and it's actually extremely fun. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm just gonna cruise around the lake and I'll hook up the camera and paddle you guys can watch and see what's going on. Look at all the shit hawks on that fucking pier. And I'm not really sure why there's a boat over there. Have no freaking clue. All right, I'm gonna see if I can set this up in my life vest and film. There we go. Now like a canoe, if I wanna turn right, I'd paddle on the left side. If I wanna go left, I would paddle on my right side and kind of paddle out to make myself turn. And then of course go straight. Now if I wanna make a hard right, I just hit my paddle in the water like that to the right and then I'll stop and turn. And these kayaks, this one here especially, I had a necky beforehand and it was okay. But I find this old town is a lot quicker. Also having a proper paddle that you can adjust the degrees makes a huge difference. As you can see, just cruising along. And if I wanna go left, I'll drag the paddle and then slide it forward as I'm turning. And then same thing if I'm stop paddle backwards. I can turn myself back around. Let's get going. Once you lose your momentum, it takes a little bit of effort to get her going again. All right, leg placement in the kayak. I like to have my knees slightly bent in case it gets a little bit unstable on the water. I can press my knees against the side of the kayak, make myself feel a little bit more stable. Well, I'm going to end my video here on my little review, little test spin of the Old Town Kayak with a fucking Rolling Rock beer. Uh, if you're interested in getting into kayaking and don't want to spend a lot of money, that one new Canadian was $4.49. You can get kayaks used online for like 200 bucks locally, depending where you live. So it's all up to you if you want to get new. That's a pretty good deal. And uh, it does what you want to do. It glides pretty good. Handles really good. It's, it's pretty buoyant. It's pretty stable. And I'm beer burping. And it seems to be alright. So I'm going to leave my video at that. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.